Hello Northumberland, welcome to an information video on the total solar eclipse coming to Northumberland County on April 8th. In this short presentation, you'll learn what makes a total solar eclipse so remarkable and how you can prepare to witness this awe-inspiring once-in-a-lifetime event. So what is a total solar eclipse? Every year or two, the moon slips between the Earth and the Sun, casting its shadow on our planet. However, for any given spot on Earth, this phenomena only happens once every 400 years. And now, it's our turn. On April 8th, portions of Ontario and right here in Northumberland will experience the total eclipse. Now is the time to plan your eclipse experience, prepare for local impacts, and most importantly, learn how to safely enjoy this spectacle. Let's first start with the basics. A solar eclipse happens when a new moon moves between the Earth and the Sun, blocking some or all of the Sun's rays from reaching the Earth. By cosmic chance, even though the Sun is 400 times wider than the Moon, it's also 400 times farther away. Therefore, the two objects appear the same size in our sky. When the Moon does eclipse the Sun, it casts two types of shadows on Earth a smaller, darker shadow known as the umbra, and a larger shadow known as the penumbra. There are four types of solar eclipses. The first and most spectacular is a total eclipse when the moon completely covers the sun's surface. A total eclipse can only be seen if you're standing within the umbral shadow. That's why the imaginary line created by this shadow as it races across Earth is known as the Path of Totality. Northumberland County will get to enjoy both a partial eclipse and total eclipse. The total darkness will only occur along the Path of Totality, below the red line on the map. The eclipse begins in Ontario at 2.04 p.m. Partial totality will come and go over a period of about two and a half hours as it makes its way eastward across Ontario. Full eclipse totality will begin in Port Hope at 15.20. Port Hope will experience complete darkness for just under one minute, with Brighton witnessing the longest stretch of darkness for nearly two full minutes. So what will you experience? As the moon starts to cover the sun, you'll notice a gradual dimming of natural daylight, a slight dip in temperature, and perhaps some changes in wildlife behavior such as birds roosting, animals becoming active, and plants reacting to the darkness. For many, it can also be an emotional experience, from awe to a touch of fear. You should never look directly at the sun without proper protective eyewear. Looking at the sun during a partial or total eclipse without proper safety filters can cause permanent eye damage. Only use glasses with special filters adhering to the ISO standard and purchase from reputed sellers. Regular sunglasses or homemade filters will not protect your eyes. Certified solar glasses are a thousand times darker than regular sunglasses and never look directly at the sun through binoculars, a telescope, or with your unaided eye. You should also closely monitor infants and small children, especially those without proper eye protection. And don't forget about your furry friends. Consider keeping them indoors during the peak eclipse times. Looking at even a small sliver before or after the eclipse without eye protection can be harmful to your vision. The only brief time glasses can be removed is if you're in the path of totality during that brief period of time of complete darkness. Glasses should always be worn if you're outside the path of totality experiencing a partial eclipse. Since this is a rare event, visitors will likely be flocking to our area. Large cities like Toronto won't experience totality so plan for potential crowds. Choose a safe, unobstructed viewing point with a clear view of the sky. Check eclipse times for Northumberland County and arrive early with essentials like water, snacks, chairs, and your camera gear. Roads might get busy, cellular use could be impacted, and emergency services may see increased demand, so be prepared. The solar eclipse on April 8th promises to be an unforgettable event. For more information and updates, visit our website. Let's make this eclipse a moment to remember. 